On Saturday, May 28th, the UFC returns to the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, as Bud Light presents UFC 130, Rampage versus Hamill. Quick Rampage Jackson! What promises to be a stacked night of fights, former UFC light heavyweight champion Quentin Rampage Jackson takes on Matt the Hammer Hamill and former UFC heavyweight champ Frank Mir. What a performance by Frank Mir! Faces Ultimate Fighter heavyweight winner Roy Big Country Nelson. Big Country! For Matt Hamill, this is an awesome opportunity. We've seen Matt Hamill emerge from being just a wrestler wow. to becoming a guy with some heavy power in his Hamill. hands. Oh, that was powerful. Victory over Rampage Jackson moves him towards title contention. Everyone thinks that I'm not ready for rapping. I, I love to be on the dawn. I'm gonna try to do the Matt Hamill like I try to do to all my opponents. Whoop his ass. For Rampage Jackson, there's a lot of questions. How much does he want another shot at the title? Rampage Jackson is the new champion! Does he still have that passion? Does he still have that drive? He's still got that power. If he connects with anybody, his hands are lethal. I don't know what Hamill does, and I don't care. This is my fight. I know what he's thinking. Oh, Hamill, not in my league. He's playing his team. He is an elite wrestler. Big takedown. Man, Hamill wants to take me down. Why would he want to stand up with me? Rampage is one of the biggest knockout artists in the sport. I'm not really worried about rapping. Hammer time, though I'm... <laughs> Man, Hamill is a guy that I can knock out, and I like knocking people out. I see myself winning this fight just by being the better fighter. Skill-wise, Roy Nelson is up there with the best of them. Elite Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu ground game, heavy knockout power in his hands, a serious chin, and an indomitable spirit and a, an iron will. I don't think either guy wants to really sit there and prove who has a better chin. He wants to stand in front of me and go through the barrage of strikes that will be coming after him to come test my chin, then absolutely come test it. Oh, again! Caught him again! Oh, that's it! Unbelievable! Wow! I'm looking at, like, all the tough, tough challenges. I want to fight for the belt. Roy Nelson's got that big one-punch power. Oh! oh! Struve trying to protect That's himself. It. No, this is it. I know that I can stand with the best of the best when it comes to the striking. I can do the grappling, the striking, and wrestling. It makes me a complete mixed martial arts, and that's what you need to be when you're the champ. Oh! It's all over! Wow. Lake Country yeah. is the ultimate Frank Mir, the man who owns a victory over Brock Lesnar, and then knocked out Mirko Krokop. Oh, Frank Mir! Wow. Huge must-win fight for Frank Mir. If he doesn't get past Roy Nelson, it's really back to the starting block. Is he going to be the big, angry Frank Mir that took out Czech Congo? He's got Congo's neck, He's to do it Or is he going to be the Frank Mir that's a smaller, faster heavyweight? Any fighter in the heavyweight division can knock another heavyweight out. At the end of the day, it's about me opposing my will on somebody and just being the better fighter. There is no malicious blood, but uh, on the night of the fight, still be bones be trying to be broken and people still knock people's heads off. I have to go out there and attack and attack and attack. Big country, just like that. I have to bring the most vicious version of myself to him to put him through the fire. Card. Two of the UFC's biggest heavyweights, literally, as six foot eleven Stefan Struve takes on undefeated six foot seven Travis Brown. Brown ten away, looking to finish this fight. Brown, who comes in with ten wins, eight by knockout. Travis Brown has defeated James McSweeney. 
will have his hands full when he faces the skyscraper. A kickboxing practitioner with an 83-inch reach, Struve is coming off two devastating knockouts. Oh, he tapped out! Oh, Stephen Struve looking to finish this eight. And looking to make it three in a row. Struve, victorious, amazing! In the middleweight division, former WEC light heavyweight champion, the All-American, Brian Stan, welcomes Strikeforce middleweight Grand Prix champion, George Santiago, back to the octagon. Look at this! How do you work this action? Oh, and that is it! Wow. In just a few years, Brian Stan has gone from MMA newcomer to WEC champion to legitimate UFC middleweight contender while his opponent, George Santiago, has been on an impressive 11-1 MMA run. Both fighters bring highlight reel knockouts that showcase deadly stand-up abilities. While George Santiago looks to make his mark in his return to the UFC against the former Marine, Stan plans to finish off the newcomer the same way he finished off Iron Jawed Chris Lieben by knockout. Weight bout, Tiago, the Pitbull Alves, once a contender against George St. Pierre, looks to move back in line for another title shot. Tiago Alves looks incredible tonight as he takes on the very talented and dangerous Rick Story, who comes in with five consecutive wins. That, 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 that. Rick Story dominant against Dustin Hazlett. Wow, that's a big victory for Rick Story. Victory. Story's shown time and again that not only can he knock out and submit his opponents, oh, Rick Story trying to finish here, but he can also take a punch, which is guaranteed to happen when facing the pit bull and his devastating Muay Thai. Outstanding athletes, five explosive fights. Oh! Bud Light presents UFC 130, live May 28th from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, only on pay-per-view. Looking to finish this fight. Serious goosebumps. Tell me about it. Get ready, world. Oh, my goodness. Sam. Oh, I heard him. Wow. He's out cold, and this is why. Oh, bam. Right on the butt. Yeah, he caught him big time. Uppercut. Oh, he got nailed. That's it. He goes down. He's, He's out. He's out. out. It is all over. Oh. What a fight! What a fight!